CareBot is a home service robot and uh, it has been designed to serve uh, people that live in a household. Um, for that reason, um, I have uh, customized it with uh, several sensors and actuators to be able to grasp things as well as to, to see, uh, listen and move around uh, the household. And um, going upwards to the face, there is a, a two degrees of freedom head uh, that allows the robot to uh, track uh, humans and uh, see them and follow them uh, by using uh, uh, three cameras. Uh, these can perform uh, face tracking and face recognition as well, it can recognize people, um, as well as it can listen, uh, like people can talk to him and it can respond back. It, has, it carries as well a, a, a manipulator, an arm, that has five degrees of freedom, five, five different uh, axes of motion, uh, where it can grasp things uh, under request. For example, if we say, if we ask him to uh, grab something with his manipulator, it, 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 it's going to come to a, some sort of a ready position and grab uh, whatever is being shown to him. And um, also, I have a, a chatbot where it can interact with people very naturally. It looks like uh, it's alive. I have spent about uh, three and a half to four months to design and build and program it mm -hmm. from scratch. So it was a very short time. Um, the purpose of it was to uh, participate in a documentary in uh, BBC, uh, which um, has been given, the plan was to be given to a family uh, and live with them for a couple of weeks. And uh, we're not too far for having these sort of robots, service robots in, in, in our households. I believe um, in the next uh, 10 to 15 years, there will be uh, many service robots, different designs and shapes and uh, prices out there for us to buy. Uh, it, won't, it won't take too long because there are some companies that already sell smaller service robots for the household and uh, or for taking care of their parents or their kids, so we're not too far.